we see on the right that x approaches negative infinity to, to mean that x is taking on larger and larger but negative values. So for example, we could say x is equal to negative 10, then negative 100, negative 1000, negative 10,000, and so on. So x is getting more and more negative, and there is no bound to how large a negative x can be. Of course, the reciprocal, 1 over x, if we consider the same sequence of x values, 1 over negative 10, negative 0 0.1. 1 over negative 100, negative 0 0.01. 1 over negative 1,000, negative 0 0.001, 1 over negative 10,000, negative 0 0.0001, and so on. So it's clear that as x gets larger and larger negatively, the reciprocal is always negative, but is getting closer and closer to 0 from the left, but approaching 0 nonetheless. So as x goes to negative infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. We can now look at the more general case, but we have to be more careful when x goes to negative infinity. So we break this up into two possible cases. So first, let n be a positive integer. So this means that n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So the integer set contains all whole numbers, all integers, and the positive sign means we only take the positive whole numbers. So if x goes to negative infinity, then what about an even power of x, x to the 2n? Well, even though x is negative, an even power of a negative is positive, and so a positive power of x, that is an even number, will be approaching not negative, but positive infinity. On the other hand, if we take a positive but odd power of x, an odd number, of course, is a multiple of 2 plus 1. If we now take an odd power of a negative, it remains a negative. So as x goes to negative infinity, any odd power of x will also be approaching negative infinity. So you have to be careful considering x approaching negative infinity and looking at a positive power of x. You have to differentiate whether it's even, in which case the expression goes to positive infinity, and if the power is odd, the whole expression goes to negative infinity. Either case, the reciprocal, so now we go back to n being any positive number, the reciprocal 1 over x to the n will be approaching 0. It may be approaching 0 from the right if the power, say, is an even number, or from the left if the power, say, is an odd number. Regardless, the reciprocal will be getting closer and closer to 0.